Uh, this autumn we've got three solo exhibitions from three fantastic artists. Downstairs in our first gallery we've got a solo exhibition by Samoya Kada, who's an artist based in Liverpool. There's an interest in her in having an opportunity to explore a medium that she's not used for a number of years, so she's returning to painting. The process that I go through creating work for Always Black, Never Blue has been kind of different to how I usually make work. So I'm painting for the first time in about seven years. This show is all about joy and freedom and for me personally as an artist exploring what the next stage of my career could look like. For me now it's kind of finding things like painting and exploring that and being like does that make me happy and can I convey a message even if it's the fact that sometimes black women can do things for themselves. In our central gallery space we've got an exhibition by Deborah Roberts who's an artist from Texas and this is her first European solo exhibition. Her work is made of mostly collages which are looking at images and depictions of black children in America, really kind of critiquing ideas around beauty, masculinity and what kind of expectations there are for children. The second part of Deborah's exhibition is text-based works. So the work takes on a four-pronged position. I talk about art history, American history, pop culture, and black culture. Over the last two to three years, I can feel like that my work is fracturing a little bit, but I'm still keeping the body in a whole form. But this is a perfect example of me taking that exercise of how to fracture the work, where I leave a lot of for the viewer to finish up. I love lines and misdirection, because I think a lot of that happens in the world. The basis of collage is, it was, first started to gain agency, to gain power, to use collage to change the way the systems work by collaging the different faces. And so that's what I try to do in my work is that trying to ask you to look at the multiplicity of blackness without just looking at this one monolithic idea of blackness. Upstairs we've got a solo exhibition by Rosa Johan Ada and her exhibition is looking at um, the Black Curriculum and with Rosa it's a really exciting opportunity for us to work with a, another organisation in the UK called Focal Point Gallery where the work was, was partly made and we're really interested in giving artists opportunities so that they're not just showing in one place. The main inspiration for the show was the Black Lives Matter protest that happened in 2020. I really felt that that really brought to the fore a lot of conversations and activism that was already happening around the black curriculum and around education and how education can be made more inclusive. Siskel was really important to me in my work, thinking about what happens when you exaggerate things or make them really small. I've exaggerated a lot of things that you might recognise from school, a lot of objects or kind of visual motifs in order to make you kind of look at them twice. One thing I'm really interested in doing is like kind of tapping into people's memories because I think people's memories of school are so nostalgic and like deeply held and it's that kind of subconsciousness and that kind of depth of feeling and personal feeling that I really want to try and engage with in the audience who comes to see the show. All three exhibitions have some sense of challenging received knowledge, whether that's what you learn at primary school, whether that's what you receive from newspaper images or the media, whether that's thinking about what you see in everyday life and who you see represented in cultural spaces. So for a great success of the exhibition would be if people went away and really questioned what they know and how stories and information is being told to them.